So I'm Stuart J. Raj and this is Thai Bytes for Cracking Thai Fundamentals in J Academy. Today we're going to be looking at a topic that I know is very controversial and people love to hate it. I love to hate it and actually I uh, try to avoid it whenever possible. That is transliteration. Uh, now in Thai, transliteration, There, if you go driving around, you'll see signs written in uh, Roman letters uh, representing Thai words and there is absolutely no one standard that people use. So you can see the same patia written with PH, written with a P, T T A Y A, T H A. There's no standard to it. People have tried to come up with standards. Now, in the world we have a standard that now people use to you can you can use it to write any sound in the world. And this is the international phonetic alphabet. And so today I've decided if we must use a um, transliteration system, and I use it with cracking Thai fundamentals, um, I encourage people to get straight into the Thai script. But if you need that bridge across, your transliteration system should be uncomfortable in that it makes you realize that these sounds are not like the sounds out of English or your mother tongue. Um, they should look different and you should learn it as a system rather than just assuming that the knowledge you have of these letters from English or whatever languages you already speak will be applied. So here I have the, um, the system of Thai. I'll just, uh, this is my consonant compass. You can go to there to jacademy.com slash consonant dash compass um, and uh, open this up. Now if I click on the letter here, you can see the Thai letters there. So this is the beautiful system, the Indic sound system, a clicker on the Sanskrit, that the Indians designed their alphabet, the Brahmic system, that is based on a map of the human mouth. So you can see here, this is the back of the throat. See the mouth down here, the, the back of the throat, the guttural, the palatal. So they're coming from the palate here, that ridge there. Now, if you're hearing the Indians talking with this cerebral uh Ta, 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 there. Now in Thai, uh, the, those cerebral, these retroflex sounds have all turned into dental sounds. So dental from the back of the teeth and labial from the lips. Isn't that beautiful? We have a, uh, a beautiful five vargas or five wat in Thai that the language, that the letters are arranged into. And here we have five columns. So stopped throat, ka, pa. You see the throat stopped down here. So if you say the word here, Sky, sky, guy. Can you can you hear feel that sky? The throat's closed there. Then it guy. Note that there's no G in Thai. It's a stopped, non-aspirated K. So guy, guy. Uh, the word for chicken, guy, is with this non-aspirated K. It's not a G. Um, so these are unaspirated, aspirated, and all these three have changed to aspirated. Um, when we get into Thai, let me click on Thai here. So basically, the letters in Thai, all of these, uh, where this used to be a G in um, Sanskrit, G, with the voicing in Thai, all these are pronounced K, K. You can see I used an H, an H there to represent this H, the wind blowing over the letter. So if I click on here, ha. Ha, you can see the wind blowing up there. That's ha, and this is K with an H as opposed to ha. Ha, okay. And then we have finally ha. Here, ha, the nasals. Okay, so these are the ones that blow the air through your nose. Now have a look at the sounds, the shapes ha. here. Normal K, ha. we'll put ha at the end of these to represent uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like. So this is ha. Ha, ha, ha. So you can hear this is the same, and then ma, ma, ma. This is an ng sound. Now the shape here is like a n with a little trunk on it. Okay, so it almost looks like that hook on the ma ngu. Okay, so that may be a, a link there to help you remember. So we have ka, ha, ma. These shapes here in IPA. Next low the palatal. Da. Da. Now notice that C in English, we might write C-A-T, cat, but whenever you see an IPA, a C is always representing this sound, okay? Um, now, if you say the word, for example, speech, 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 your throat closes, then you do this sound. Now in Thai, that moves forward onto here a little bit more, onto the palate. 
Okay, so this is da. It's not a J. If it was a J, it'd be jaw, jaw, with a deep voice in there. But this is t with no voice. So da, then with an H, cha, or here would be cha, cha, and then ya, ya, and nya, nya. Now notice this ny is like the N again, but the tail this time is on this first stem. Okay, and then we have ya. Ya and sa. sa. Okay, so the the different one here is a J ya. representing the y sound. You might hear in uh, European languages like Danish, German that the J is also y, Yule, Christmas. So this is ya, ya. Don't mix it up with a j. Here, da, da, da. da. When you see a T by itself, it's a non-aspirated. This whole column here is non-aspirated as opposed to the aspirated. Ta. 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 So I'll say this one. This without the H. Ta. With the H. Ta. 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 And then na. And here, these two rows, we mentioned that they turned into dentals. This one here. So these are both the all dentals. They're the same sounds. And here we have ba, ba, just like you'd have in English. But just remember that these are all with a throat closed. So the tight ba actually has a throat stopped in the beginning. And ba, ba, ba. when you see a P, it's an unaspirated. It's not p, like in the word play or pig. It's like in spy, spy. You can see spy. When you get to that P there, your throat's closed and then spy, it opens out. So, pa, pa, as opposed to pa, 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 pa. Okay, and so all these again. And we have a fa, which is an F, just like in English, ma, wa. So that's basically how they are uh, in English. And then this is actually from our vowels, but this is the R. Yeah, um, here it's uh from uh, Sanskrit. So let's just say these IPA ones. I'll go through it. Ka, ka, nga, da, cha, ya, nya, da, ta, ta, na. Ba, ba, pa, fa, ma. Now the semi vowels. Ya, ra, la, wa. The sibilance or the S sound. Now there's only one in Thai now. This used to be in Sanskrit. Um, sh, sh, so these have all turned to normal S's. So this is. Sa. Then we have the H sound, ha, and then ah. Uh, we'll see next in the vowels how the vowels are represented in IPA. So now going on to the vowels. Now we just learned in the consonants that we had these as consonants. We had uh, ya, ra, la, wa. So the only um, tricky one there that doesn't look like uh, what you might think in English is this J, this, sorry, this J symbol representing the Y sound. So that's just like the Y in English. Ya, ra, la, wa. Other than that, uh, ra, it's a rolled R, not a er, uh, la, wa. And these are actually semi vowels. So just like in English, how we have the word how. Is the W in that a vowel or a consonant? Okay, you learn in English that W is a consonant, but it's it's playing the role of almost a vowel. And in Thai, these are called semi-vowels. And especially the wa and the ya are incorporated into the vowel frames, which if you come into Cracking Thai Fundamentals, you can uh, see in the module on vowels, how we look at vowel frames. These are parts of them. So let's have a look here. Now, even though these are letters that you already know from English, Let's program ourselves with the IPA, so the international standard sound for these letters. You ready? So we have a, a, okay, a, a, and I've put here short, long, and extended. In traditional Thai, uh, we have the short, long, extended, and it just happens because a is the base sound. We keep the a uh, uh, there. This is the same. And then we have e, 
E. Now the thing it's this is a long one, and I use the colon here to extend the sound. So short e, no colon. Long e, and then e a e a. You see, it's an e combined with the a. Uh. So e e e a. Uh, 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 uh. Now this symbol here is probably the um, strangest looking symbol. Uh, out of the vowels that you'll see, it's li almost like a, a a W. It's an upside down M with the tail there. And think of it, it it looks different. And if you have a look here with these two tails, it actually looks like the uh, the Thai U with the two tails up here. That's the memory link that you can have. Uh, so this is U U U. This sound is like an E but pushed back to the throat. So U U U. There is no sound in English like this, except for maybe you might hear a girl saying, Ugh, yuck, uh, uh, that uh there. Um, but other than that, there's no sound officially in English. This is uh, 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 uh. Now, you always makes an uh sound, uh, uh, uh. And you can see here, I've put in brackets, sometimes you might see, just like W is a w, uh, w, uh, how, it's a U sound. So here also, or can represent this w as well sometimes. Um, here we have or or if you see an o, make your mouth round like the o or or as opposed to this o that's sort of cut here. Ah, oh, look at the difference. Or or with a closed mouth for the o and with this semi o shape, it's ah oh, with the open mouth at the back of your throat. And now this upside down e shape is the uh sound so uh 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 let me go through it again ah ah e e e a uh 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 u u u a o o a a uh uh and now i want you to have a look at these shapes here these uh symbols here that have come up on the right here. Now this is e, e, okay, one in the bed, e. This is the normal E symbol. Whenever you see that, always think of this e sound. Okay, no, I know in E, in English, E has all these different types of sounds, like in English, it's an E, but from now on, when you see the letter E, think of e. As opposed to this sound here, and if you're a speak Danish, you would know this symbol, this is a, a. Can you hear the difference? E, a, e, a. So e. Now again, we're using this convention of e, e to make the sound long. We put the colon, those two dots there. So e, e, a, a. Got it? E, e, a, a. I'll go over them again. E, 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 a. U, 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 a. U. O o a o o a a a a e e a a. Okay. Now we're going to go on to the vowels where there are combinations. So these vowels here are combinations of sounds that we've already covered. So here you have um ow. So we know what a is and u is. So this is ow easy. Um, this is um. Remember, don't see that word and think of it as the English word am. Look at it as a new script. This is um. A is always pronounced a, ah, a. Ah. So this is a, ah, m, um, um. I. And you notice in Thai we have the floppy uh, maimalai and maimuan, the rolly i, but both of these are pronounced i and it's written like that an a and an i. Um, here again, we've just learnt the a e vowel here. And so air e, with the semi vowel what is ew written exactly how we would think. Um ui, ui again, it's just a combination. U and e ui, ui. And you notice how that is uh short because I don't have that. Here, why, why I have an u, I've made this u long, and then I have the i, which is this sound here. So why and then i. Notice how this is a open circle, not the closed O. So this is R with an open mouth. 
if I wrote this val here, uh, it would be written with a closed or or and then the there that so that would be oi oi as opposed to i. Now you're going to see combinations just like we've seen here, but with the base IPA letters that you know, you're going to be able to work out what the pronunciation is. Um, I know that transliteration is something that people uh, love to hate, and I personally hate transliteration when it comes to Thai, but my philosophy is, is make it look as different as possible and as foreign as possible to uh, make sure that people realize that the sounds are different. They're not like the sounds that we have in English. Um, and hopefully, in doing that, you're going to make the jump even faster into learning the Thai script, which shouldn't take you that long. If you come into cracking, uh, jacademy.com uh, slash courses and crack, uh, click on Cracking Thai Fundamentals, um, going through those modules, you'll be up, up and writing within a few days, and you'll be able to start reading Thai text and escape from the whole transliteration uh, trap. So this is just a brief summary of IPA. Uh, you can get many software programs that will do it. I use Tie to English, um, and I've coded it with my uh, IPA standards here. Sometimes you might see other systems like Kun Benjawan Pungsan Becker's system, which is based on IPA. Also, there are a couple of different symbols there. Whatever transliteration system that you use, make sure that each symbol has its own individual sound, and don't just think that your English alphabet that you use for normal uh, English writing will suffice. The sounds are different to English, so make it look different. I'm Stuart J. Raj, and this is Thai Bytes for Cracking Thai Fundamentals and J Academy. Sawadee so, krab.